maybe a new year, but as you've just heard, the pressure on Wall Street has in no way abated. Compensation, regulation, they are as explosive topics as ever. This morning, we're going to help guide you through the minefield with the help of two of Wall Street's most capable hands. John Thane, the former CEO of Merrill Lynch and NYSE Euronext, and Rajan Cohen, the chairman of law firm Sullivan and Cromwell. John, Rajan, delighted to have you both. Thanks for joining us. Let's kick it off with this. Down in Washington, we just heard a whole lot from Washington, our reporters down there. Down in D.C., there's a growing perception that it is back to business as usual on Wall Street. John, from your perspective, isn't this the one thing Wall Street can least afford right now? Well, I think that uh, Wall Street has changed. Uh, you see the focus on compensation and the structure of compensation and you're going to see bonuses that I'm sure will be multi-million dollar bonuses but they're going to be much more equity. I think in many cases they will be primarily stock and that lines the employees up with the uh, shareholders and the fact that that stock's going to vest over multi-year periods of time and the fact that uh, there will be some form of uh, ability to recoup uh, the bonuses. I, I think Wall Street has started to change. Well, that without question is a big deal for people on Wall Street, the whole liquidity issue, the fact that they aren't going to get as much cash. But when people see that big number, people on Main Street, and those are the people who are talking to the congressman, they don't buy the idea that there's been a real reform on pay. What do you do about that? You know, I think that's a that's a problem. I think there's going to be no real answer to that. I think uh, the numbers when they come out will be subject to criticism and, and uh, public outrage. Uh, but also, you know, the firms themselves have to compensate their people. So it's going to be a balance. We know uh, we heard from Lloyd Blankfein, right, saying no one's going to be happy. I mean, the employees don't seem happy because they got more stock versus cash than they wanted. And of course, there's the continuing mounting public outrage. Raj, you and I have spoken about this in the past. I mean, does Washington understand to what extent it's hard to, to run a competitive business? And does, does Wall Street understand how out of whack its salaries are with the rest of the country? I think, Deidre, you've hit the nail on the head. There's a problem of understanding on both sides. And that's what is causing, frankly, so much of the disconnect and the controversy. Raj, you know the people who are going to testify down there very well. So does John. John Mack, Lloyd Blankfein, Jamie Dimon, Brian Moynihan. What's the best thing that can come out of this Financial in uh, Crisis Inquiry Commission? What's the worst thing that can come out of it in your mind? I think the worst thing that can come out of it is a search for villains. Because if we vilify individuals, we're going to miss the real causes of the crisis. The best thing that can come out is, not surprisingly, the converse, which is to make a and conduct a meaningful search for the real causes of what happened. Is it a waste of time, though? I hate to say that. I mean, we've had so many people, so many big voices giving us details about what caused the crisis. Do we need this now? I think it's actually a desirable approach uh, to have a systemic effort as opposed to rifle shot attempts. Uh, the people I know on the commission are very responsible people, I think are dedicated, committed to what they're doing. So I think it could be a good idea. John, very quickly before we take a quick break, you've watched your fellow CEOs testify over the course of this past year. Do you get the feeling sometimes that it's just a kangaroo court down there? Well, I don't think it has to be, and I actually think uh, that what Rod said is absolutely right. If there really is an attempt here to learn, to find out what we can do different, to think, to change uh, some of the uh, causes of this financial crisis, uh, I think it'll be constructive. If, on the other hand, it is, in fact, just an opportunity to pummel the CEOs, then I don't think it's a very good uh, use of people's time.